as soon as I find her bio. Nada Hassan is a Lebanese American artist who spent her childhood in Lebanon and her adulthood in the US. She is a mother, an illustrator, and a graphic designer. Her latest illustration series is about motherhood and it's called You Have My Heart. Nada is also working on other series that highlight current social events in the world, such as separation of kids from their parents on the border and women empowerment. And you can find all her work on nadaofficial.com. Let's please welcome Nada. everyone, thank you for being here today. Thank you for taking the time and coming uh, to Durban Open Mic and thank you Durban Open Mic for providing a welcoming and uh, friendly environment for local artists. Uh, my name is Nada Hassan and I don't like talking in public. <laughs> Actually, I don't like talking in general. <laughs> Which is why you're an artist. That's why I draw. Well, no, I, no. <laughs> I draw to express myself. I'm not good with words, so excuse me if I stumble on my words. Um, I will let my art speak for me, but I will tell you a little bit about it. I grew up uh, drawing as a kid. I remember... Sorry, I'm a little emotional. <laughs> Don't worry, I was worse up there. No. <laughs> Both doing great. <laughs> Thank you. She has a TED Talk, by the way, and it's awesome. You should watch it. Oh, stop it. it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I grew up as a kid drawing. I love drawing. It's, it's my passion. I've been doing it my whole life. Um, but it was not encouraged at school. So I went to college, and my family wished that I could be a doctor or at least a nurse. But I decided that I wanted to be an artist because that's what I love. And they were not very pleased. <laughs> but they're still supportive. Uh, they're here today. Alrighty. That's okay. They're fine. We'll break anything. Oh, it's so comfy. They're unbreakable. So I went to college and studied fine arts and I graduated and learned all the techniques that an artist should know from perfecting your, your techniques and improving your skills um, and learning from all the previous artists. Until I graduated, I realized that this is not what I want to do. This is not my style. I need to break free from, this, from these restrictions. So I started exploring and practicing more, drawing and illustrating, until I broke free of those restrictions that, um, that I thought these were the right things to do, that adding more details to paintings and, and, uh, and illustrations is better. I thought more details is better. But I started experimenting with less. I started with a white canvas and just a few lines that that are surrounded with negative space. Negative space is the white space around, around uh, an illustration that surrounds it and it actually highlights it. Until I came up with a series and this is the first thing that I could draw. I'm so sorry. Would you like some water? Uh, some napkins, please. I got you, Thank you. This is totally part of the whole like <laughs> show. It is. Don't be fooled. It is. <laughs> Oh my god. I just not move. That's not 
one. Maybe it will fall whenever they fall. I will hold it. I'm just going to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> we can all look at it. Okay. It's fine. So, thank you, Rewa. <laughs> so, this series is about real moments that I've lived. I have a six, year, six years old son, and all these drawings are inspired by real moments that I've lived with him. He's the highlight of my life, and my life has been around him ever since I knew that I was expecting him. This year starts with you can call it a self-portrait, but it's an illustration of a woman who her heart goes down to her belly where her baby is being formed. And it stays with a baby throughout his whole life. And it's called You Have My Heart. And it shows the ups and downs of motherhood, but also about parenthood because I think that since we're still in the spirit of mother of Mother's Day, a lot of people play the role of a mother. So these illustrations are just uh, examples of moments of, from parenthood with the ups and downs and struggles and the sweet moments and the bittersweet moments. Um, and they will continue throughout my whole life and throughout my, my son's life. Um, and it's just very, they're very special to me and it's very emotional as you can tell sharing these with everybody because they're very personal. So, uh, I also draw other things <laughs> that are less emotional. I like to, I'm inspired by uh, vintage fashion, uh, which we can see my, my work on netofficial.com and my social media. Uh, I also like to focus on some social events that are happening in the world that also include the struggles of parenthood and, and children and families. So yeah, I warned you ahead of time that, <laughs> not about this, but I'm not very good at wording. So I would like to encourage you to come up close and take a look after the program to see the drawings. And I have a couple here that I would like to pass around for you to take a look at. Thank you.